Hello and welcome. Today we are going to be looking at place value. We are going to be reading and writing multi-digit whole numbers. Now we know that numbers can be written in number form or what's also known as standard form. We use digits and put them together to form big and small numbers. Now this number here we learn to say as 6,765. We know that there are 6,000 Seven hundred, six tens, and five ones. We can also write 6,765 using words or what's known as word form. form. It is written as 6,765. Don't forget the comma, it's very important. We can also read and write our number using base 10 blocks. Each block, as you know, has a value and once we understand these values, we can create numbers. We need to start with the smallest one. It's called a ones. Usually you only have one to nine in the ones column. But we know to make a long, we need 10 ones. To make a flat, we need 10 longs. To make a cube or block, we need 10 flats. Can you see the pattern? Isn't 10 an amazing number? Here's the number again, 6,575. We can now see that there are five ones, seven tens, five hundreds, and six thousands. Let's look at it a different way. Here we go to have it again in our base 10, but this time we're going to expand further. Our ones columns, we have five ones, or we have five times one, which equals five. In our tens, we have seven longs, or seven times 10, which is 70. In our flats, we have five flats, five times 100, which is 500. And in our blocks, we have six blocks, which is six times a thousand, which equals 6,000. Now we can also see this written this way. You can see that there's 6,000 plus 500 plus 70 plus five. Let's look at that further. This expression is called expanded form. When we add all these numbers together, we come back to our original number of 6,575. Expanded form helps us to see what the value of each number has. It shows us how many units are in each number. So we have looked at numbers in our standard form using digits, in our word form using words, in our base 10 form and in our expanded form. So now we're going to move on and compare numbers using one or more of these expressions. Comparing two numbers using symbols. Symbols are a big part of maths and it's important for us to learn them. This symbol here is the greater than symbol. Imagine a big mouth eating. The big part is facing the larger number as you can see over here because 673 is larger, greater than 573. Down here we have the equal sign. This symbol means that both numbers have the same value, so they are equal to each other. Down here we have the less than symbol. The pointy part is pointing to the smaller number. As we can see here, 405 is less than 415. Let's look at it further. On the left, we see two numbers, 673 and 573. We can see that the six in 673 is a hundred more than the five in 573. And therefore we can say that 673 is greater than 573. So we can use the greater than symbol. In the middle, we have two numbers that are of the same value. The 345 and 345, we can say are equal to each other. 
This number can also be expanded to be 300 plus 40 plus 5. And as base 10, it would look like this. There are three hundreds, four tens, and five ones. On the right hand side, we have the numbers 405 and 415. We can see that the zero in 405 is 10 less than the one in 415. We can say that 405 is less value of value than 415. Therefore, we can use the less than symbol. How to compare two numbers? Because in grade four, we learn to read large numbers, it is good to have hints to help us understand how to compare these two digits. Hint number one. The first good thing to do is to count your digits. So the first number has seven digits. What does the second number have? The second number has six digits. So now we need to automatically see that the second number, 123,571, is automatically smaller than 1,235,711. So we use the greater than symbol. Now, if the new numbers that you are comparing have the same number of digits, seven and seven, we go to hint two. Now hint two says that we need to start looking at the digit that is the furthest to the left for both numbers. In this case, it's a six in this number and a three in this number. So are they the same? No, one is a six and the other is a three. So we look to see which number has the greater value. And as you can see, six million is greater than three million. So therefore, we use the greater than symbol. Now, if the new numbers you are comparing have the same number of digits, as you can see this one has, and the furthest digit is this of the same value, as you can see six and six, both are in the six millions, then we need to go to hint number three. Number three, hint number three. If the furthest digit is the same, then you look at the next number to the right of it. And again, we need to compare which one has the greater value. As you can see in our first number, 6,700,000, that is of greater value than 6,500,000. So therefore the symbol we use is of greater than. Our last one. Now, if the new number that you are comparing has the same number of digits, seven and seven, and the digit to the left are of the same value, we need to go to hint number four. Hint number four. The fourth hint is that you need to continue checking the value of the numbers all the way down until you come to a digit that is different. And as you can see in this case, the seven in the 700 and the eight in the 800s column are the ones that are different. So therefore, the seven in the first number 6,740,791 is actually smaller than 6,740,891. So we use the less than symbol, the symbol that points to the smaller number. I hope this has helped. So happy comparing. Bye for now.